And we're joined once again by Bo Van Pelt. And Bo, uh, we were just talking before we uh, started the show, and you said uh, eight out of nine weeks, keep me away from sharp objects. Uh, you needed a break, didn't you? Yeah, no, I needed a break. You know, it's a tough part of the season. You know, there's so many good weeks out there and good tournaments, and, you know, you hate to miss any of them. And it's it's one of those deals I probably pushed it a little too hard and, uh, you know, thought I could do it. But, uh, you know, it's – I learned that lesson a long time ago. It's better to have quality than quantity. And, uh, you know, every once in a while you, you forget some of the lessons you've learned. And, uh, you know, I definitely was in need for, for two weeks off. And that said, you've always been a guy that enjoyed his home time uh, and family time. So uh, I'm sure it's nice to get that before a trip across the pond. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I've got three of my next four really big tournaments. You know, you got two majors and a world golf event. And, um, you know, I want to make sure my kids remember what I look like and my wife. So it was, uh, it was good to be home and uh, just get to hang out and do whatever they wanted to do all day and, and be a dad again. And uh, it just kind of recharges my battery. So what have you been doing, man? I remember a couple of years ago at the PGA, we hung out with you playing some football in the front yard with the, with the kids. What have you been doing? Well, we, you know, uh, swam at the house a little bit, and uh, we went up to our lake house up at Grand Lake and a um, bunch of sea dews and caught some fish and spent some time on the boat and um, just relaxed. You know, it was, um, it was nice not to have a schedule and uh, just to wake up every morning and ask the kids what they wanted to do and um, just kind of do that. Whatever, whatever they want to do, we were up for. Hey, Bo, talk about the importance of the last couple of weeks in this home time to prepare you, as you said, Two of the next three events you're playing are major championships. The other one's no slouch with the World Golf Championship. I mean, obviously, you need a fresh mind for that. So just talk about the value of, of preparing yourself for that stretch. Well, I think I've always been a guy that is, has done well after a couple weeks off and just kind of refocused, and, and my body and my mind feel fresh. And, um, you know, it's hard this time of year so um, to get that time off. And sometimes you just got to go ahead and say, look, man, I, you know, you know, you hate to miss a tournament like the John Deere or the Greenbrier, but it's like um, I'm looking more towards these next three, and then I'll have another week off, and then the playoffs start. And um, you know, so far my year's been a little bit of frustrating, and so um, you know, hopefully this time off will you know get me rested up and hopefully finish with a bang. This game's crazy, man. That's why we love it. But um, talk about a little bit of frustration this year. I mean, you know, you look at money, and and you know, obviously you've done well with that, but you know, the last few years we've come to expect you as a top 10 machine. What Have you put your finger on anything? Is there anything that you feel like going forward now maybe you got your thumb on? Yeah, you know, I've struggled just um, – I think it's funny. It's just been one of those years where I feel like I'm playing better than my scores um, and just not getting the ball in the hole. And uh, that's kind of a weird thing to put your to finger on. And, um, you know, some, golf's such a game of momentum – you know, it's it's making that six footer for par, or getting the ball up and down to to keep a round going, or when you hit one close, going ahead and converting. And you know, so far this year, I just haven't done as good a job of doing that. And um, you know, I think it also just shows you what a fine line it is between um, playing really well and just kind of playing average. And um, it's not that big a drop off. And so there's some things I need to work on and um, just do a better job of. And hopefully this this time off will give me a chance to kind of regroup and not worry so much about my scores and just kind of reflect on what I need to do better when I'm out there playing. Hey, Bo, talk to us uh, about heading across the pond. Uh, how do you feel when you cross the pond and go over to the Open Championship? Well, you know, that first day is tough. Um, you know, you don't sleep a ton on the plane because it's not a, a super long flight. I mean, it's a long flight, but it's not 12 or 13 hours, so you get a little bit of sleep. And uh, the main thing is I try to do is just get on their time. You know, that first day it's – um, you know, it's a mental grind to try to stay up as long as you can to get on their time schedule. Um, and if you do that, you know, you, you'll probably have a pretty good week. I think most guys, if they fall asleep that first afternoon, it's, uh, it's a tough week. And so you just got to go over there with the mindset of, look, I'm going to stay up as long as I can and get on their time schedule. And then um, by about Wednesday, you'll feel pretty good. All right. So you just order up some haggis and have that keep you going for a while? <laughs> you know, I... Uh, the, my modus operandi is we'll find one good restaurant we like and I'll probably eat there five or six nights in a row. So um, we find one thing that, uh, that'll that serve its purpose for the week and uh, we'll just wear it out. 
<laughs> spoken like a true American. Hey, Bo, as always, it's great to join you, man. Thanks for taking time out of your home time to join us. And